Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for DAX Fridays and we are going to talk about two functions, related and related table and I'm going to explain also the difference between the two of them and uh, those of you that have never used related, uh, it is basically an Excel VLOOKUP, supercharged Excel VLOOKUP. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and I have two tables. I have a product table and a stock table. On the product table, I have uh, two columns, a component column and the cost of the component. And on the stock table, I have the components again but I have the number of components in stock. I have a, a relationship between both, a one-to-one -one relationship, okay? And what we want to know is a very normal business case, which is uh, I would like to calculate the stock value. So how much money do I have tied up in my stock? And we're going to do that in two ways. We're going to use first a calculated column because I think it's easier to see how it works. So we go to call it stock value. And then what we want is the quantity times. And now we want to go to the product table and pick up the cost column. So to do that, we use the related function. And as you can see, it drops down. It shows which tables and which uh, columns you can use. So we will choose our cost component. And voila. So now we have this stock value. But I am guessing that you're going to tell me, Rune, we want to have this as a measure. Is it possible? Yes, it is. So we can get the entire stock value, the sum of the stock value. So to do that, we go in here, we create a new measure. Let's call it M stock value, for example. Value. And uh, what we're going to do here is the sum X of the stock table and we want the stock uh, quantity and now we use the same as before we want to multiply stock quantity by the cost of the component so so let's put a component and we make it a bit bigger so we see something and now we add the stock value let's put also the cost of the components and the quantity so you can see so we have what this measure is doing is is going row by row as you usual and it says okay quantity times uh, cost and then do the sum in this case it finds only a row so it's 23 times 20. next row 43 times 10 just one row so it just gives you 430 and then in here is 225 times 70 so it's 1810 so uh, it is 1110 um, let's say euros that we have in our stock easy right so now what happens if we add a product to our product table that is already existing that means that we have two products that are the same with two different costs it could be so that you have like different suppliers, for example, and there are different costs in there and you have both on the same table, just as an example. So let's go back and see what would happen. We're going to add a 
product. So here we are on the query editor and we are going to add a new row that contains uh, duplicates. Okay, so let's say that uh, this product comes from two different suppliers and uh, it has two different costs depending on the supplier. Why not? So let's click close and apply. And the first you're going to see is, of course, uh, Power BI says, hey, you cannot do that because we have a one-to-one -one relationship. So we need to fix that. So this has to be a many to one. So here there are many and here is one. And now apply changes. So you see one to many. And look what happened. These, our metric break and our calculated column broke too. Why? Well, the, the issue with this, and this is the difference between related and related table, is that related allows just for one-to-one -one relationships, while related table allows for one-to-many. So we need to modify these calculation in order to make it work. And what we need to do is to have related table. Now let's look at what related table is and what it does. So here in the Microsoft documentation, we see that related table uh, evaluates a table expression. So this is the syntax you have related table and then the table name. So that is the only thing that we can do, put table name in there. So we are going to put related table. And then of course, this is not allowed because the only thing we can have is a table. So how do we do this then? Well, we need to have an aggregator. So if we say the sum x of the product cost, I'm missing one, no. Now it is working again. So here is the trick. You have to remember this, one to one you use related and one to many you use related table. Rule of thumb. I cannot count the amount of times I've actually tried to use related in all of course my one to many as a table. So, and until you just realize that it will drive you just nuts. So I think this is a great opportunity. Related one to one, related table one to many, and then everything will work just fine. Great, right? Okay, so this is all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by liking it. If you want you can share it with your friends and social media to share the knowledge it will help me a lot and um, make sure you subscribe i publish power bi videos every week so have a great great friday bye